Title I classroom, but this, um, as Anne can attest, has been used as an actual first grade classroom. Yeah. 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 No windows. I mean, there is the perception of windows, but they're not actually windows. They lead to storage closet, storage closet, and prep room for teachers. Um, and then if you look uh, at all of these classrooms down here, they have overhead venting systems because, um, Bob will explain no. to you why, because, because I forget. I don't care. We have a central air handle that comes down through the whole building, through the, on just on this floor. And because if you stand in the classrooms on the other side, we're below grade. Right. And, and we can't cut through the walls because you can't pull air, you know, within so many inches of the ground to bring it into the classroom. So what they did when they renovated this wing in 63, uh, they ran a central air, air handle down to bring fresh air into the building. And the unit vents work just the way the, the other ones upstairs do. There's hot water pipes that pipe to them to, to run across a coil and, and blow the fresh air across the coil. The problem that we have and we've experienced in the past is that when we have drop-offs in the morning and late in the afternoon, you've got 75, 80 cars sitting out front with the, the motors idling and, and you start pulling the fumes into the building. And that happens a lot if there's a like a low overcast day where the yeah, you know right. the, the fumes can't yeah. get away and they get trapped and, and they get pulled in the building and we start getting odors and we start getting complaints. So it's a forced hot air heating. Yes. Yeah. It, this whole wing is, is forced hot air. And the teachers have been complaining about it for years, and it was assumed that it was a byproduct of the heating system of the old boiler or something. But when it was actually looked into and they cleaned the air intake and they weren't that problematic, they realize that it's actually um, the impact of idling and the mm -hmm. carbon monoxide oh, emissions Karen being gathered that. up um, because the intake sits right on that garage, the central unit. So we are actually pulling in uh, poor quality air, sub-quality air as our clean air, and then we're circulating it um, through this entire level. It's also very noisy. Yeah, well, any, yeah, because what happens is these are old systems, so they have bearings and they have, they have fans that run, and as they get older, they get louder and louder and louder, and, you know, we spend a lot of money trying to repair them, but, you know, some of them are, you, you take a unit like that, I can spend $800 on that unit just rebuilding that one unit, mm -hmm. you know, putting in new bearing shafts and what they call a squirrel cage, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it just, it never ends, so if they're running, they get left alone, other to be serviced, put new filters in them and grease them. But uh, yeah, some of them throughout the building are pretty loud. Yeah. There are a lot of teachers go in there, shut them off, and then they'll complain two days later when they come in, their room is freezing, and we go and we open the door and there's the switch shut off because of the noise. Whatever they were doing, it was bothering them. And, you now, if they get if they get really bad, obviously we repair them. But but um, you know, it's, it's just money we don't have. If we spend eight hundred dollars repairing that unit, something else that was scheduled to be done isn't going to be done because mm. there's only so many dollars. And that's pretty much it for those. So is this room unused as of now? No, it's used for reading. For reading. Yeah, it's not used as a regular classroom, but it has been a regular classroom in the past, yeah. based on population in the building, and, and you know it will be again if yeah, you know if the number of students. Yeah. Increase. Okay. Well.